do 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 this little cable here is called hot. This little one here is called cold. And this little guy here is called cold. The farm where Toto went when mommy and daddy realized he wasn't eating anymore. The XLR connector available here in its male and female presentations is the natural habitat of the balance line. I know there's a shallow of other ways to connect the balance line, but the title has XLR in it, so... <laughs> now... In order to understand what a balance line is, we first have to go through what an unbalanced line is. So, for instance, here's my professional home karaoke mic. It's got a cable. The cable's got two connections. There's positive and there's ground. And when I perform my art, the cable doesn't just carry the signal. It also picks noise along the way because, as we all know, the world's full of cell phone towers and Wi-Fi and AM programs nobody listens to anymore. And there's everybody's making a podcast and porno. And that's why you don't see corn for popping anymore because every, the world's just a fucking giant microwave. Anyways, what having two conductors on this scenario means is as follows. Your signal's supposed to travel along this conductor right here, right? So this is what the signal looks like. You're also going to pick up a little bit of noise along the way between the conductors. So the resultant signal is going to look something more like this. It's going to be noisy, right? So when you try to amplify it, it's going to sound like shit. Well, there's where the miracle of balanced lines comes into place. Turns out I have this limited edition custom-made mic specially designed for balanced lines. Balanced lines are not exclusive for microphones. They're also used in consoles, studio monitors, CI boxes, long instrument lines. <laughs> So when around the balance line, here's what happens. We have this little tiny cable here, the hot one, and the little cold one, and here's its ground. As before, we have a signal drawn through the cable, right? And here I have the same signal, but inverted. So we have S for signal and minus S for the inverted one, okay? So when this signal goes up, this one goes down. When this one goes down, this one goes up. That's just fucking insanity. Now, instead of just picking up noise in between these two conductors as before, which I'm going to signal in the name because I'm real original, we're also picking up noise in between these two. So now we have twice the noise and two signals, one goes the other way. It should be bullshit, but here's where it gets fun with the balance line. This one goes to ground, as it should, and the other two go to this amplifier, which is called a differential amplifier. It doesn't matter. One goes to the plus, one goes to the minus, and we're going to perform a subtraction between both signals. Hot minus cold, meaning on the hot side we have signal plus noise, just like before, right? Now on the cold side we have the same signal but inverted and the same noise again. So when we perform a subtraction of both sides, we have twice the signal and, well, you're gonna subtract noise and noise, so you're gonna end up, well, zero noise. I don't know, I had a minus there. It's gonna be a plus. Same thing. You add subtract. You end up with twice the signal, which means electronics is black magic fuckery. So now that we're all engineers, let's solder one of these things. Okay, so an XLR connector. It's got three pins. Let's disassemble it and see what's got inside. And also, because well, you gotta do it if you wanna solder it. Come on, come on out. Yes, please, by all means, look like an idiot. Oh boy, always the same. There it is. It's out. Yay. Okay, we got three pins. I don't know if this shit's gonna focus, probably not. Let's give it a little bit more light. There you go. Okay, so number one on the left, that's ground. On the right, number two is a hot one. And on the bottom, number three, which is not focusing, but focusing, focusing, whatever. There you go, that with number three, that's the cold one. Now, female connectors, same story. And if you were so kind as to focus, there you go. As I said, it's mirrored. This time the one is on the right, still ground. On the left you get the two, which is hot, and on the bottom you got number three, which is a cold one, because they go face to face, because they're male and female, you know? <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> so, first off, you put the back of the thing in the cable, because otherwise it's gonna happen the same thing that happened with on the TRS one. It's up there, somewhere. Go check it out. There I explain how to solder with love and care and kisses and everything. But now I just cut and measure and it's all ready to solder. Okay, so I'm gonna hold this thing with a close pin because I'm a pro. So I like to experiment because I'm tired of doing things the way you should. You add a little bit of tin because you know you gotta tin the parts. Okay, so now that the phone is in a position that you can actually see what the fuck I'm doing, let's, you know, number one, number two, number three. We've been through this shit already. Let's put the thing on a clothespin so I don't burn my fingers. I could use something more professional, but it's not gonna fit underneath the phone, so we got 
number one, number two, number three. You know the drill, right? So we're gonna put ground one, 102, colon three. So this time, yes, we are finally gonna add a little bit of tin. I can't stress this enough. Don't make a soup out of it. Just do it quickly, do it swiftly. Just add enough so that it solders, but try not to melt the plastics because there's no do-overs on that. Okay, a little bit more there. Okay, great. So now you grab the cable, put it in front of the connector. You remember your lefty. <laughs> yep, all the hand, more gooder. I still look clumsy as hell, but it would be way worse with the other hand, trust me. Oh, riveting. Just fucking riveting. Come on. Hurry up. Oh yeah, just lovely. Now it's ground's turn. This one I can do it with the other hand because now I have like an anchor point. By the way, can you tell what a shitty overdub this shitty overdub is? It's just filling up space. Well, there you go. That's beautiful too. It's shiny. I didn't have to blow it because that's what Neanderthals do. You see somebody doing that just softly, gently rest the tip of the iron in their, their, I don't know, in the throat or something. Okay, and there goes cold. Why do I even have to talk about this? There's nothing to explain. You're seeing, well, you're not seeing because it's out of focus, but come on. There you go. You see three beautiful solders in the order that I said. They're shiny and beautiful. And now comes the part that, why the fuck do we do this? Either way, like you know what you what you have to do now. You have to put the rest of the parts in. There's no mystery with this shit. I'm looking like an asshole, the same way as in the other video, the, the TRS one. I'm looking like a fool trying to put a part that you know where it goes. You know what? It would have been awkward to cut the video here, but there's no redeeming quality to what's left of this shit. Yeah, you put the part where it goes. There's no two ways to put it. It just clicks. And now, look how long this is taking. Oh boy. Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah, you look like an asshole. But that's it. Same deal with female connectors. They have the same little tubes on the back and chassis mounting ones too. That's it. I mean, now when I use my mic, I can do my art. And why do I even try to match what's going on? This is a shitty overdub. I'm tired. I gotta go to bed. Fuck. Uh -huh.